Hi everyone, welcome to the Earth Science Regents Review podcast series created by Homics Middle School Earth Science Department. Today we're going to focus on page 7 in the reference table, your metamorphic rock chart. So your rock chart here is broken up into two sections. You have the rocks that show some sort of arrangement or some sort of alignment with your minerals. They're what we call our foliated rocks. Down below, you have your non-foliated rocks, which are rocks that do not show any kind of organization or alignment or arrangement with the minerals. So once you determine that, let's take a look at the characteristics that you can find out of this chart. First off, you have texture, foliated versus non-foliated. Foliated rocks can be either categorized as mineral alignment or banding. Next over, you have grain size or crystal size, small, medium, and large, fine being the smallest, coarse being the largest in regards to the visual size of the crystals in the rock. Composition is going to be the actual individual mineral or minerals that make up your type of rock. Next over is type of metamorphism, regional versus contact. Next over is going to be your comments, very important information found in your comments. Next over is going to be your rock name. And then finally your map symbol. Okay, let's take a look at the individual rocks and we'll talk about some important points of each one. Slate is going to be your lowest grade of metamorphism. It actually comes from the sedimentary rock called shale. You have the lowest grade of regional metamorphism. It's monomineralic, which means it's made up of only one mineral, mica. And it's got a type of foliation called mineral alignment, very small crystals. You start increasing your depth. You start increasing the metamorphism. Now you have a rock called phyllite. Now instead of just mica, now you have quartz, feldspar, amphibole, and garnet. And in terms of its, in terms of its composition, still relatively small crystals. And again, you still have the special type of foliation called mineral alignment. You increase your heat and pressure even more. You get a rock called schist. Now you're really starting to get some very visible crystals. You're starting to get into the medium range crystals. You have all the same minerals that phyllite had. Now you have to include pyroxene into that. And now you're starting, you're still in the category of foliation uh, of mineral alignment, but you're starting to get some bigger crystals. You get the highest grade of metamorphism. That's going to be a rock called gneiss. Instead of getting mineral alignment, you have a type of foliation called banding. You have a huge, huge crystals here, all arranged in certain rows or bands within the rock. Below those, you have your non-foliated rocks. So if you take a look at anthracite coal, anthracite coal is made up of carbon, okay, but it actually comes from the metamorphism of a sedimentary rock called bituminous coal. That's made from regional metamorphism. Hornfels is the only rock in the chart that strictly comes from contact metamorphism. Okay, again, small crystals, and it comes from a variety of different rocks. Quartzite is going to come from the metamorphism of quartz sandstone. Marble is going to come from the metamorphism of limestone or dolostone. And metaconglomerate is going to come from the metamorphism of conglomerate. In this case, your pebbles within there, instead of being somewhat rounded, they're going to be somewhat stretched out. Okay, that's it for now for your metamorphic rock chart. Good luck with this, and we'll talk to you soon.